What are your thoughts about God, being in a relationship with God? Uh, I'm a former, uh, I was formerly religious, but not so much. Have you, have you thought about that ultimate question, though, about what it means you know, to be right before God? And if you're, if you're right before Him? Somewhat, yeah. yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes, I think so. Okay. What about you? I think so. Okay. I would think so. So, have you ever told a lie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What would you call people who tell lies? Lies. Yeah. Okay. Lies. Um, have you ever been angry at somebody? Yeah. What we're working through a little bit is the Ten Commandments. And so when I said, have you ever been angry at somebody? Is Jesus would come on the scene and said, you've heard that it was said of old, uh, do not commit murder. But I tell you, whoever hates his brother, another human in his heart, is guilty of murder. Because God's law reveals the condition of our heart. So it's going to be murderous intent. All right. So you've heard that it was said of old, do not commit adultery. But I tell you, whoever looks at a woman or a, or a man with with lustful intent is guilty of adultery because it's an adulterous heart. So have you ever looked at lust? Looked with lust at someone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, was, I wasn't putting you on the spot or anything, but so by your own admission and your own confession, you've admitted to being lying adulterous, murderous at heart. If God was to judge you by those on the day of judgment, would you be found innocent or guilty? Probably guilty, yeah. Okay. If that's what determined heaven or hell, would you go to heaven or hell? Well, if we're guilty, then probably hell. Probably hell, yeah. Okay. If it's just by those direct terms, like, have you lie, have you? Yeah. But if it's just looking at the person as, are they a good person? I feel like we maybe have a chance of that. So who defines what's good or not would be the, the real question to come back. God defines what is good. And so he gives us his law and says that if you break these things, in fact, you're not good. It, so you said, if God judged by these things, you'd be found guilty, people go to hell. Have you ever heard what God does to solve the problem? Every human being walks around and our sin pour, builds up wrath, the wrath of God for us. On that day of judgment, you're gonna stand before God. And when you do, if you're found guilty, you have to pay that price, which is death. Now, the only way you can get out of it is, is if someone else comes and pays that debt for you, because he's just God. He's merciful. He wants to give you mercy. Yeah. He, he enjoys giving you mercy. He enjoys letting people go free. But he's just. If you pay the price, the price is death. And then death will win. You need someone who was powerful enough to pay debt, the debt of death, beat death, and come back again. So this is what we celebrate at Easter. When we say that on Good Friday, we say Jesus died on the cross. It said he actually died to pay for sins. So that's the word to use for all the stuff we've talked about that builds up wrath. You've built up wrath. You've built up wrath. We all have. Those are sins. That's why Jesus Christ came to die. He for came us. to die for us, for, for our sins. Yeah. But there's a gap. It says that we're saved through faith by believing that Jesus paid the price for you. So it's not enough to know, oh, Jesus, Jesus came and died for sinners and blah, blah, blah. You have to know specifically that you stand guilty before God that you have a death penalty and believe that Jesus Christ came to pay that for you. So that's how much he loves. Have you ever heard this before? Yeah. This kind of message? Yeah, definitely. You have? Like, so, have you ever repented of your sins? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I have. Yeah. Does it concern you at all that you could end up dying and standing before God in judgment and have to pay the price for your sins? I suppose, yeah. In a way? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not 100% positive if he's there or not. You know, sure. I'm, there's it's a big issue, and we're just talking. You know, yeah, we're just talking about a little bit. That's it. Kind of there, but you know, okay. I also have the faith that if he is there, that he will see the good in whoever he's judging. Okay. You know. Yeah, but we just talked about he pierces the, the heart, and yeah. he knows, and he defines what good is. I thank you for the talk. My name's Ryan, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you. Okay. I'm, I'm Katie. Hi, Katie. Gage. Yeah, Katie. Hi, Gage. Can I leave you both this? Yeah. This summarizes our message. The message is to repent. And you got to know that you don't need to talk to me about it. You don't need to talk to other people. You don't need to go somewhere. You two, even individually, because you won't have each other in the yeah. day of judgment. It's just going to be you and God. Just take time. Look at that. Read over it. Ask yourself if you're... If you're ready to pay the price for your sins or if you're ready to believe in Jesus and repent of those sins before God. Okay? I really appreciate talking to you. Thank you.